Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to the next video in the AWS IoT playlist where we'll implement a device shadow for our truck one thing. AWS IoT device shadows are used to make a device's state available to apps and other services whether the device is connected to the internet or not. We'll be using our device shadow to manage the state of the running lights on our truck one thing. To get started in the truck one folder, I've included a new demo2 JavaScript file. Looking at it, again, we require the AWS IoT device SDK, set the value of the endpoint file variable, and declare a constant for the initial state of the thing. In this case, the reported state has the light set to false and a desired set to null. Here, we're creating a variable for the thing shadow, which is an AWS IoT thing shadow, setting the parameters as we did in the prior demo. When the thing shadow is registered, it takes the thing name and then makes a get method call on the thing shadow, passing it the name to set the initial client token. On change of the thing shadow, we'll call the output light state function, passing it the state of the state objects lights property. If the value is set to true, we'll write to the console, my lights are on, else we'll write my lights are off. Then we'll call the update API on the shadow, passing it the reported state and desired state. The rest of the code is pretty straightforward, so I'll let you read through that if you like. But for now, we'll jump into the terminal and execute this code. So we'll kick off the demo2 app. We see truck1 has been registered, making an initial get request to set the light states indicating that no light state was found, so setting to the defaults, which turns the lights off. Now let's jump over to the IoT console, click on things, truck one, device shadows, click the shadow, and we see the device shadow document with the device shadow state reporting lights false. Now let's jump back over to the MQTT test client, clear out the old data, and now I want to subscribe to two topics. The first is to dollar sign AWS things truck one shadow update documents. And the second is to dollar sign AWS things truck one shadow update delta. And now with the subscriptions in place, we could jump over to publish and publish a message payload to the truck one shadow update topic, setting the desired state of the lights to true. So let's go ahead and publish. And we see in our shadow update Delta subscription, the light state is set to true. So now if we jump back into the terminal, we'll see that the lights, which initially started as off, are now being reported as on. And if we jump back over to the test client and publish again, this time setting the desired state of the lights to false, we see the delta. And in the terminal, the lights are now back off. Now I've gone ahead and stopped the truck one application from running. Now let's go back over to the test client and publish a new message to the topic, setting the lights back to true. So here we see the light state true. And if we go back into the terminal and relaunch the app, We see when the truck one is registered and it gets the initial state, it found a delta in the device shadow and initializes with lights on. So even though truck one wasn't running, its device shadow was still updated in AWS IoT, in our case using the test client. So when truck one came back online, the delta in the shadow was reported and was used to initialize the state of truck one. So in this video, we implemented the device shadow for our truck one thing. In the next video, we'll use the AWS IoT SDK 
to implement communication between our fleet of trucks. I hope you're excited, and I hope to see you in the next video. And, of course, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you find this content valuable. Thanks for watching.